I'm Anil Kumar and here is a test question for you on relations and functions. I'd like you to pause the video, copy the question and then look into my suggestions. The question here is, sketch graph of a function that fits the requirement for given domain and range. Write equation to represent your graph. So there's two parts. First you have to sketch and then write the equation. Now domain range of the first function here is domain is x less than equal to 1 and range is y which is less than equal to 2. So even if we write like this it is assumed that x and y are all real numbers. Okay, So by default real numbers is there. In second we have written domain is x belongs to real number where x is not equal to 3 and range is y belongs to real number where y is not equal to 4. So I like you to sketch the graph of these functions and write their equation. Well remember there is no unique solution for these situations. You can have a different answer but I hope with this example of mine you can make out whether you are close to correct answer or not. The first one here is domain is less than equal to 1 and range is less than equal to 2. Since there are restrictions on both domain and range, a good function to consider is the square root function, right? Square root function is the one which has a restriction on both domain and range. So the idea here is when you are given a question like this, think about the parent function which fits into the situation, right? So that is that's the first thing and then think about the transformations. Now looking into these things, what we should do is we should transform our parent function square root to meet the given situation. So let's look into this situation in further details. It says domain is less than equal to 1. That means if this is 1 for us, then domain is on the left side, right? So we have to go to left side of this value. As far as the range is concerned, it is less than equal to 2. So let's say this is 2 for us, then we are looking for something which goes below 2, right? Including 2. And we have already decided that our function is a square root function, right? So the related graph could be uh, kind of starting from here and and maybe like going downwards, right? So I'm not very specific about where it is going from, but that is the shape of the graph. Coordinate points for this should be 1 along the x-axis, 2. That means it starts at 1, 2, right? So that kind of a function has a domain which is less than or equal to 1 and a range which is less than or equal to 2. So we have done the first part that is sketching a graph. Now let us try to write down the equation. Now transformations here we are looking at uh, y equals to square root of x. We need to transform so that y equals to square root of x gets reflected on the y-axis and also on the x-axis. Then you get a shape like this. So there is there are two reflections both on x and y axis plus there are two translations. One is the translation one unit right and two units up. So looking into these we could say the function f of x could be since it is negative this is the reflection on x axis and within square root we can say reflection on the y axis means negative right and now we need to translate one unit to the right that means x plus I uh, sorry x minus 1 x minus 1 will translate it one unit to the right right so that becomes inside the function and translating two units up means 2 that is how you could actually get your function if you open this bracket you could also write this as minus square root of minus x plus 1 uh, plus 2 right so that is how you could actually write your function right if you really want to uh, be more specific you can also find the value of the y-intercept so if i write x equals to 0 then i get square root of 1 
which is 1 and taking away 1 from 2 we get 1. So this point for us could be 1. So, well it is not to the scale but anyway this point for such a situation is is 1. Okay anyway you get an idea of how to sketch. So I mean to the scale you could have gone from here that's fine. But I hope you get an idea of how to sketch and get the equation of the graph which fits into the given requirement. Now I'd like you to do the same thing for the second one. Here is my suggestion. What are we talking about? We are saying domain has a restriction. It cannot be 3. Range has a restriction. It cannot be 4. Right? And all of the real numbers for domain range are possible. So that could be the case when we take up this reciprocal function, right? So we have horizontal and vertical asymptotes. When we say domain is not equal to 3, that means we are saying we have a vertical asymptote at 3. Okay? And range is not equal to 4 means we have a horizontal asymptote y equals to 4 for the function. So we have a horizontal asymptote y equals to 4, vertical asymptote x equals to 3. Now a function which will be kind of like this uh, could be a reciprocal function, right? So we could sketch a function like this. Do you see that? So it is a reciprocal function. So this sketch clearly indicates uh, that it meets the given requirements. Is that okay? Now how to write the equation? We can write the equation as, let us say, g of x equals 2. Since there is a translation of 3 units to the right in the reciprocal function, we can write this as x minus 3. And since there is a vertical translation of 4 units, we can write this as plus 4. So we get our equation. So this is probably the easiest way of writing an equation for the given graph and sketching a graph for a given condition. I hope that really helps. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe and share my videos. Thank you and all the best.